Time has arrived for November 10th, 8 p.m. 2014. I hereby call the City Council to order. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilors, before we start the agenda tonight, uh, the City of Brockton lost three distinguished uh, individuals. Uh, two of them uh, were veterans and served this city and this nation uh, in World War II. In the light of tomorrow being Veterans Day, I think we owe it to these gentlemen and to their families to pay a moment of uh, respects for them. Mr. Samuel Ashey, who was a decorated combat veteran of World War II, who was also a senior captain of the Brockton Fire Department. Mr. Robert Butler also served World War II. He was a veteran of the Pacific Theater. He was uh, superintendent of refuse for many years here in the city of Brockton. And another individual, although he didn't work for the city of Brockton, he served the cities very, very well, Mr. John Brady. He was a superintendent at the Catholic Calvary Cemetery here in the city of Brockton. If we could uh, recognize these with a moment of silence. May they rest in peace. I also would like to uh, recognize a former colleague that served this uh, body very well for many, many years, Council at Large, former Council President Tom Brophy, who's here tonight. Councilors, I think uh, we also want to give a round of applause to our colleague, the newly elected state representative from the hey. 10th Plymouth District, <laughs> our colleague, Michelle Dubois. Speech, speech. She served the city very well, and she's going to be working very well at the State House with our delegation. So good luck, Michelle. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Um, Madam, uh, Mr. Clerk. The appointment of Donald Wayne Dobbins, 21 Hemlock Street, as a constable of the City of Brockton for a term of three years. That is referred to Finance Committee. Petition of George L. Swayden for a garage license located at 351-359 Belmont Street and City Clerk's Office, October 15, 2014. Hearing is signed for November 10, 2014. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare this hearing open. If there's anyone here relative to this matter here in favor, please come forward. State your name to the clerk. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, if you could just be at the uh, microphone, please. And with me is George Swayden and Beverly Swayden, formerly Beverly Nedrella, who are the proprietors of the current West Side Sonoma on Belmont Street, across from McMenamin's, and the purchasers of what has been Carrera's gas station, Same thing, which is the subject of tonight's hearing. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Councilors, any questions? Mr. President, I'll have some uh, stipulations when we get to number four, the uh, motor vehicle repair license. So, thank you, thank Councilor. You. This is in Ward 1. Thank you, Councilor. Anyone else here in favor about this petition? Anyone here in favor? Third and final. I'm going to move and close that part of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final. That part of the hearing is closed as well. Uh, the matter is now going to come before us. Uh, relative to granting the license, the garage license, located at 351-359 Belmont Street. All in favor? All opposed? Motion passes. License is granted. Mr. Clerk. Okay. <clears throat> I might as well stay right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're doing a DBA West Side Service Center, Inc. for an underground storage license located at 351-359 Belmont Street. City Clerk's Office, October 15, 2014. Hearing is signed for November 10, 2014 at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. Anyone here in favor? Uh, again, please state your name for the record. Attorney Louis Victor, with me, George Swayden, and Beverly Swayden. Thank you. Anyone else here in favor? Councils, any questions for the petition? Third and final. Anyone here in favor? That part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final. No one here in opposition. That part of the hearing is closed. The matter comes before us now relative to the underground storage license. All in favor of granting a license, please raise your hand. All opposed. Motion carries. Uh, that license is granted. Mr. Clerk. The West Side Service Center, Inc., for a motor vehicle repair mechanical license, located at 351 359 Belmont Street, City Clerk's Office, October 15, 2014. Hearing is signed for November 10, 2014, at 8 p.m. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. Again, if you could state your name. Attorney Louis Victor, representing George Swayden and Beverly Swayden. Thank you very much. Anyone else here in favor? Councilors, any questions? Council Cruz. 
Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. I just uh, will be making stipulations. I have spoken with the Sweden, so I can cut off my uh, colleague, who will ask you anyways, <laughs> but I will be making uh, stipulations for hours to be 8 to 5.30 and 8 to 3 on uh, Saturdays. No outside storage of automotive parts and products uh, such as oil, grease, gasoline, etc. No outside coin-operated machines, including but not limited to pay phones and vending machines. The property shall be kept clean and neat and free of debris at all time. And on, while I'm speaking, I'd just like to say Mr. Correa and his family have been wonderful neighbors and wonderful business people in Brockton. I wish him success and good health in his retirement, and I know the Swedens will do a nice job keeping the, keeping the, uh, the uh, family establishment going. So. Absolutely. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Stewart. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. I hope I can remain seated here. Uh, just a question around your, your business plan. As you know, these restrictions are fairly common. On occasion, um, individuals accept the restrictions, not understanding that it may impact uh, their business. So I want to make certain that you understand from your business plan that you can continue to be successful, make money with the restrictions that are uh, attached to the license. So you do, uh, you do understand that? Yes. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Mr. Thank President. you, Council. Any other councils? Anyone else here in favor? Anyone here in favor? That part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final. That part of the hearing is closed. Councilor's matter comes before us now, uh, granting the uh, mechanical license ve vehicle repair with stipulations attached thereto, as stated by the ward council. All in favor? Please raise your hand. All opposed? License is granted with the uh, stipulations attached. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank Good evening. You. Thank Good evening. You. Petition of Dinesh Patel of 45 Sunrise Terrace, Stolen, Underground Storage License, located at 500 Pleasant Street, Brockton, City Clerk's Office, October 14th, and City Council, November 10th, 2014. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. Anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward to the podium. Anyone here in the chamber relative to this matter? Anyone here relative to agenda item number five, which is 500 Pleasant Street? Councilors, you want to? Uh, I'd make a motion to postpone this till the end of the uh, agenda. Second. Okay. Motion Show made, up. properly second. We're going to continue this until the uh, end of the agenda, number five. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. The report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of November 3rd, 2014. That is accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of November 3rd, 2014. That too, accepted and placed on file. A communication from Pierre Davis at Puritano LLP requested that the City Council schedule a meeting. Uh, on Monday, November 10th, 2014, regarding pending power litigation. Council Cruz. I'd make a motion to move this to the full end of the agenda. Second. Second. Motion made properly seconded to take uh, number eight on the agenda, last on the agenda. All in favor, raise your hands. All opposed, the motion carries. Communication from the city solicitor requested additional appropriation of, of the fiscal 2015 law department ordinary maintenance budget as follows. To outside legal counsel, amount one million five hundred thousand dollars, in order to fund the estimated cost of outside counsel legal fees going forward for the remainder of fiscal 2015, to defend the city of Brockton, members of the Brockton City Council, planning board, various other defendants, both in their official capacity and individually, with regard to the civil suit instituted against them by the Brockton Power LLC. Council, that communication is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That communication also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO uh, related to the same uh, <clears throat> as far as certification, however, with a note that provided that the attorneys representing the city, in this case, be able to professionally advise the mayor and the city council that the city is highly likely to prevail in court, this certification is conditional. Again, communication is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development stating that the City of Brockton has been designated as a gateway community by the Commonwealth and that the Commonwealth has implemented the Housing Development Incentive Program to encourage the development of market rate housing in gateway communities through state tax credits to qualify development projects. Refer to Finance Committee, Councils. We have the hearing petition of Mass Electric Company revised in New England, Inc., requesting a 35-foot a class four pole down guy, an anchor with an eight foot lead. Pole and anchor will be located on town property on the north side of Merton Street. Pole will be labeled 10 84. In council October 27, 2014, Council Stadensky motion to continue the next council meeting, properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. Anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward, state your name to the clerk. Anyone here in the chamber relative to this matter? Councilors. 
I make a motion to put this on the table, Mr. President. Second. Motion made properly seconded to table this matter. All in favor, please raise your hands. Matter's tabled. Hearing petition of Mass Electric Company of Verizon, New England, Inc., request for 35 foot class four pole down guy and anchor with a six foot lead. Pole and anchor will be located on town property on the west side of Blossom Street. New pole will be labeled pole 69 84 and council October 27, 2014. Councilor Studensky, motion to continue to next council meeting. Properly seconded. Motion carried by a hand vote. Time having arrived, I'm going to declare the hearing open. Anyone here in favor about this matter? Anyone here in favor? <clears throat> Councilor Studensky, you entertain? I'm sorry, Mr. President. want to entertain this as well? I, 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 I would like to see this on the table also. Second. Motion made properly second to the table. Agenda item number 14. All in favor, please raise your hands. All opposed. Matters tabled. Now 35. Council's point of information 15 and 16 on our agenda. 15 would be relative to agenda item 13, which is tabled. 16 would be relative to 14. Make a motion to take five, items 15 and 16 collectively. Second. And to table them. Oh, do they need to be read first? They, okay. they could be read, but they're already. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Granting Mass Electric Company with Verizon New England Inc. requested a 35 foot class 4 pole down guy and anchor with an 8 foot lead. Pole and anchor will be located on town property on the north side of Merton Street. Pole will be labeled 10 84. Uh, Mass Electric Company with Verizon New England Inc. requested a 35 foot class 4 pole down guy and anchor with a 6 foot lead. Pole and anchor will be located in town property on the west side of Blossom Street. New pole will be labeled pole 69 84. Council Cruz. Make a motion to table. Second. Motion made properly seconded. Collectively 15 and 16 to table. Those all in favor of tabling, please raise your hand. All opposed. Both matters are tabled. An <coughs> ordinance amending chapter, <coughs> amending section 2 127, the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. <coughs> be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows Section 2 127 of the revised ordinances of the <coughs> City of Brockton, hereby amended by amending Section 2 127 pay plan by adding the title Budget Director to the classification of DA slash P 2 in Council May 27, 2014. Refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on ordination by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. He's there. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Why? No. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. No. <coughs> Aid in the affirmative to the negative. Matter is uh, hereby ordained. An ordinance amending uh, Article 13 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 13, Procurement, Article 1, Contractors, Qualifications, and Sanctions. In Council, August 25th, 2014, refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. That report is favorably as amended. Questions on ordination as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneery. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Ordinance is ordained. No ordinance amending chapter 27 of the revised ordinances. City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council. City of Brockton as follows. Section 27-73 electronic advertising boards. In Council August 25th, 2014. Before <coughs> the Committee on Ordinance and Planning, that report is favorable as amended. The question is on ordination as amended by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. No. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Nine in the affirmative one. Excuse me. Eight in the affirmative one. The ordinance is passed, is adopted, I should say. An ordinance amending Chapter 14 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 14, Offenses, in Council October 14, 2014. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance. Uh, that report is favorable. Questions on ordination by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Why? Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Ordinance is hereby ordained. An ordinance amending Chapter 11 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Mr. President. Councilor. May I ask for a moment, um, a recess, two-minute recess? 
Two minutes for purposes of what, Councillor? I just want to read this, this ordinance. I'll grant it, Councillor. We're in recess. Back in the session, councillors. Council Dubois. Um, Mr. President, at this time, I'd like to refer this matter back to ordinance. It's in the form of a motion. Yes, I'd like to make a motion to refer this back to ordinance. Second. second on the motion. Second. Motion made, properly second to send agenda item 21 back. The ordinance committee all in favor. Mr. President, important point information. Could we ask? Could we ascertain why, please? 
She doesn't have to answer that council I mean, under Robert's rules, but if it, she chooses to, it, as it a courtesy, my, she can. Um, as answer. I understand it, I'd like more information on it because as I understand it, it's going to allow for more uh, class two used car lot licenses than the current city ordinances allow. And I'm a f we already have so many of them. So I don't, before we just go ad hoc, uh, allowing a preponderance of class two licenses over and above what the ordinance currently allow, I just think that the public and myself should know more about it. Thank you, Councilor. That's all. Motion made properly second to send agenda item 21 back to the ordinance committee. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. Let's take a roll call vote on that to get the formal vote. Mr. Clark, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. No. Dubois. Yes. Ionary. Walker. Monaghan. No. Rodriguez. No. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. No. Sullivan. Yes. Five in the affirmative, four in the negative. Sent back to ordinance committee. Agenda item 22, Mr. Clerk, please. Transfer petition of Community Carriage Inc. to Cowan Enterprises Inc. for eight taxi medallions, which has been in existence since April of 1992, and Council October 14th, bringing through the Committee on Public Safety. That report is favorable. Uh, so the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Transfer is hereby adopted. Appropriation of $12,000 from Mass Department of, Public, of Environmental Protection, Sustainable Materials Recovery Program, Municipal Grant, the Refuge Department of Recycling Containers Grant Fund, and Council October 27, 2014. For the Committee on Finance, I report as favorable. Council's questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azar. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Kedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Appropriation is hereby adopted, Councilors. Appropriation of $140,000 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs through the Water Conservation Fund Act for the renovation of the Rollsco Park site. To the City of Brockton Planning Department Grant Fund on behalf of the Department of Planning and Economic Development, Park and Recreation Department, and Brockton Redevelopment Authority. There is a 50% match, which will be paid from the BRA through the Community Development Block Grant Funds. And Council, October 27, 2014, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Uh, so this question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Block. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And in the affirmative. Appropriation is hereby adopted. Pursuant to Section 23-30F4, the City Council hereby approves the rules and regulations entitled Irrigation Outside Usage Meters adopted by the Water Commission. Council July 28, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Uh, this question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. No. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. No. Ionary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> yes. Sedinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative, two in the negative. Orders hereby adopted. Resolved that the Brockton City Council expresses to the mayor its belief that due diligence conducted to date by the city on the proposed transaction is inadequate to allow for an informed consideration of the proposed transaction and be it further resolved that the Brockton City Council expresses its position that no consideration of the proposed transaction shall be undertaken by the City Council without the City of Brockton first obtaining through issuance of an invitation for proposals by the Chief Procurement Officer, a detailed financial due diligence analysis by a non-city affiliated independent financial services firm of the fair market value of Aquaria Water LLC desalinization plant in Dighton, Massachusetts and Council October 27, 2014. Refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Bless you. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. No. Dubois. Yes. Ionary. No. Monaghan. No. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Seven in the affirmative, three in the negative. Resolve is hereby adopted. 
the appropriation of $1,500,000 from unappropriated receipts fiscal 2015 tax levy to Law Department Ordinary Maintenance Services for the purpose of increasing the budget for outside counsel to pay for attorneys to defend the city and members of its city council and planning board, plus other former officials, both in official capacity and privately, with regard to the civil suit instituted by Brockton Power, LLC. The CFO has uh, <clears throat> certified it, however, it's conditional, and that is that the LLC provided that the attorneys representing the city, in this case, are able to professionally advise the mayor and city council that the city is highly likely to prevail in court. This certification is conditional. Council, the appropriation of the mayor is hereby referred to the Finance Committee. Resolved <clears throat> regarding the recent auction and where the money is going, what account it is being held in, and what the money is going to be used for. That is referred to Finance Committee. Council, a couple uh, important pieces of information. Oh, actually, we got to go back to number five. I'm sorry. Mr. Clark, number five, please. We got the uh, petition of Dinesh Patel of 45 Sunrise Terrace, Stoughton, for an underground storage license located at 500 Pleasant Street, Brockton, City Clerk's Office, October 14, 2014, and City Council, November 10, 2014. <coughs> I'm having a ride. I'm going to declare the hearing open. Anyone here in, this, in favor relative to this matter? This is in regards to 500 Pleasant Street. Anybody here in the chamber? Council, I entertain a motion. Chairman, I a motion to postpone to the next council Second. meeting. Second. Motion made properly second to postpone agenda item number five to the next uh, full city council meeting. All in favor, raise your hands. All opposed, matter is postponed to the next full city council meeting. Mr. President, Councilor. I'd, like, I'd like to make um, two light files. Okay, Councilor. I'm just requesting a second on that. <laughs> second. Second. Oh, second. Sorry. Motion made properly second to late file. <laughs> Go ahead, Councilor. And then I'd like to um, take them collectively and under suspension of the rules. And I ask for a second on that too. Second. second. Could, what are they? Could we hear them well, first? Yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Like what they just, if we could just read them so the mm. colleagues that, can understand what yep. it's about. I'll read the both of them for you. <clears throat> In Council November 10, 2014, order that the Commissioner of the Department of Public Works is authorized to issue nine single family home sewer connections for the lots located at 59 Sawtell Avenue to Julian Enterprises. Such lots being shown as lots 4 through 12 on the plan attached hereto and made a part hereof. Signed, Councilor Michelle Dubois. <clears throat> In Council, November 10, 2014, order that the Commissioner of the Department of Public Works is authorized to issue three single-family home sewer connections for the lots located at 59 Sawtell Avenue to Julian Enterprises, such lots being shown as lots one through three on the plan attached hereto and made a part hereof signed, Councilor Dubois. Council. <clears throat> so the reason that um, I need to take these under suspension of the rules is that the owner of the property was held up with financing issues for several months and has just squared that all away and wants to put in 12 single family homes. And the time for cutting into the street ends as of, I want to say, November 15th or 17th. So if we can take that collectively and under suspension of the rules this evening, um, then um, he'll be able to get the sewer connections in before the city's um, drop dead date. Second. Motion okay. be properly seconded to take. Uh the late files from council are collectively under suspension of rules. All in favor, please raise your hands. All opposed, motions carry. Mr. President, Councilor. I'd like to make a motion for reconsideration in the hope that it does not prevail. Councilor, let's take a roll call vote first. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ayanari. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The matters are hereby adopted. Councillor. And now I would like to uh, make a motion to take these under, um, uh, take these up for reconsideration in the hope that they do not prevail. Second. Second. Motion made properly second for reconsideration. Hopes it doesn't prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? The matter doesn't count. Reconsideration does not prevail. Uh, Councillors, a couple things. December 3rd, December 3rd, 6.30, the joint meeting, the third joint meeting with ourself, the mayor, the school committee, Representative from Southeastern Region. It's going to be held at South Middle School on December 3rd, 6.30 p.m. If you could put that down, please. Another thing, Councillors, uh, we all know this, but tomorrow, of course, is Veterans Day. It's a day to thank and to pay our respects to those that gave us the freedom. Why we're here tonight, 
City of Brockton uh, always does a wonderful parade. It starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning at the War Memorial, and it ends back on Legion Parkway. We invite everybody to please join us there. And I, I also forgot to mention our colleague, Councilor DiNapoli, is actually uh, was unable to attend tonight because he's out of state. I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the, uh, the evening. Council Cruz. Uh, are we back to item number eight? Yes, we are, sir. No. No, we're not? No, we should go into this a late file first. So it's going to be something from the fire department. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do those first. We'll okay, yeah, back absolutely, back Mr. Clerk. So we have somebody in motion. So we'll make a motion for a late file communications, please. Make a motion to accept the late file communication. Thank you. We have a communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requesting supplementary appropriations from available funds in the amount of $250,000 to Fire Department overtime in order to reopen Tower Company 1 Engine uh, one engine 10 for the remainder of fiscal 15 in order to keep Tower 1 Engine 10 open. It requires the Fire Department to use overtime funding on a consistent basis due to a manpower <laughs> shortage. The fire department may be looking for additional funding in the third and fourth quarters of fiscal 15 if it is determined that they require additional funding. Councilors, first of all, there was a motion made. It was properly second for the late file. All in favor of the late file, please raise your hand. Thank you. But one other thing relative to that, I talked to Chief Francis today. He will be unable to attend next week's finance committee meeting. He will call each of us individually this week if there's any questions or any information. He wanted me to pass that on. That's accepted place to file. Okay. Communication. <clears throat> That is from the interim chief of police department requested an additional appropriation of $500,000 for overtime funds mm -hmm. for the restoration of foot patrols, provide traffic and uh, pedestrian safety patrols, and continue providing adequate coverage during periods where there is a high volume of calls for service. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. On both of these, we have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted place to file. And we have the appropriation of $560,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of fiscal 2015 to fire department personal services overtime, 250000 for the purpose of reopening Tower Company 1 Engine 10 for the remainder of fiscal 2015, and to the police department personal services overtime, $310,000 for the purpose of providing foot patrols, traffic and pedestrian safety patrols, coverage during periods where there is a high volume of calls for service and any other recovery uh, coverage. Councilor, that appropriation request is referred to Finance Committee. Councilor Cruz. Agenda number eight. Actually, Mr. President, before we go into number eight, if I Council. could just, um, just a point of privilege just really quickly before we go into eight. Okay. Um, as you, as you may remember, I challenged the city to take part in the No Shave November. Several uh, men have done that, and I promised that we would do a men's health forum. We have scheduled that um, with, uh, along with um, the Adult Learning Center and Good Samaritan Medical Center. It will be Thursday, the 20th, from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Um, it's when we're going to have a board-certified um, oncologist, I believe. He, he's a urologist or an oncologist, but he specializes um, in men's health. And we're also going to have uh, two particular testimonials that I think would be particularly poignant here in the city. Uh, Chief Hayden has agreed to share his particular story about his cancer journey, and also um, our very own uh, buildings uh, supervisor, uh, John Hef Hefler. He also um, is a cancer survivor. So these two gentlemen will be there. We'll have a question and answer. And again, like I said, it will be at the Adult Learning Center, 211 Crescent Street, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. All men are invited. Um, we do have a limited uh, amount of space, so if you would like to uh, attend, please feel free to give me a call. My information is on the website. So I hope to see all of my male colleagues. Well, I won't be there, but I hope you all will be there. <laughs> my male colleagues will be there. Unshaven. Also, we also have a website where we're donating uh, the funds to the American Cancer Society. Good Samaritan has also agreed to match whatever the city uh, comes up with in donations. So um, this is really actually picking up, and I, I want to just thank every uh, all the men who participated in this and taken it seriously. And, and, thank uh, you, Councilor. Thank you. Thank you very much for the information. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Councilor Stadensky. Mr. President, a moment of personal privilege, please. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I want to address first the residents of Ward 4, 7 p.m. this Wednesday evening at the Davis School. We will have a Ward meeting, 7 p.m., the 12th, this Wednesday, Davis School. The second item, Mr. President, I, I yearly I attend the Brockton High School Veterans uh, Thank You, a fantastic musical item at uh, Brockton High School. I just want to, the mayor was there today, and 
I, I just want to let everybody in this chamber know, if you have a chance to ever go to anything, go to that item. It's uh, just, it's out of this world. And once again, uh, Maestro Vinnie Macrina and the uh, musicians at Brockton High School were fantastic. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Counselor. Mr. Clerk, agenda item number eight, please. Communication from Pierce Davis and Peritrano, excuse me, LOP requesting that the City Council, <coughs> excuse me, schedule a meeting to be held, executive session of Monday, November 10th, 2014, <coughs> regarding pending Brock and Powell litigation. Councilor Cruz. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I hereby move that the City Council go into executive session to discuss litigation strategy regarding the pending case of Brockton Power et al. versus the City of Brockton et al., United States District Court Docket 112, CR 11047. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to go into executive session to discuss the pending Brockton Power litigation <laughs> with the request of the City Council's attorney, our attorneys. As chair, I state that having a discussion in open session may be detrimental to the City Council's litigating position. The motion requires a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azab. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Council. In the affirmative. Thank you. Thank you, legal counsel. Council will not be coming back in open session, and there was the requisite and appropriate votes. We will be going to executive session.